Hey, how's it going? My name is Isaku. I'm an instructor here at Los Angeles Taiko Institute. Uh, today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about Odaiko grip. Uh, so in my Odaiko classes, I'll generally instruct students to grip uh, roughly one wrist worth from the bottom. Uh, they're going to grip with the pinky and ring finger, and then the other three fingers wrap around. Um, I wouldn't say this is applies to everybody, but I think uh, a large number I, at least I feel comfortable saying a large number of Odaiko players use a similar type of grip. Um, the part where you start to have a little bit of variation or uh, different philosophies is how the grip is used to affect the sound that we produce. Okay, so I'll show you three examples of this. Uh, the first one is a short, light, staccato note that's going to ring out. So it's going to sound like dong. Dong. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be going dong, dong, dong. Okay. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to focus on the first joint of the pointing finger, and I'm going to imagine that the tip of the stick is an extension of my pointing finger. Okay. And I'm going to imagine that. Uh, the, the surface of the drum is hot, so it's like touching a hot surface. Dong, dong. Okay, one, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Okay, uh, the second type of sound is also, it's the same volume, also staccato, but instead of it being light, I want to give it a little bit of uh, heaviness to it. So instead of imagining that the, the surface is hot, I want to imagine uh, pushing the sound maybe like an inch deeper into the, the playing head. So I'm going to go dong, dong. So instead of the sound ringing out dong, I want to go dong. Don't. Okay. One, two, three, four. 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 Two, three, so it's no, it's no longer staccato, it's, it's a long note. Same velocity, I'm playing the same part of the drum, but it's going to be a long note now. Okay, one, two, three, four. What I'm doing, uh, I'm I'm keeping the uh, the grip relaxed. So the other two were um, I was holding pretty pretty tight, but now I'm going don 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 one two three four. One of the interesting things, or one of the cool things about being at LATI is that we have many different instructors with many different philosophies. And um, being the drum nerd that I am, uh, I was talking with one of my colleagues, and he was saying that the second sound that we did, the don, don, actually feels like a long note to him. Okay, and that means that uh, instead of going don, he, he's thinking don. Don, which is which is actually a very, an equally valid uh, approach. So let me try that one. One, two, three, four. So a fun exercise would be to play. Uh, each of the sounds that we covered, uh, and then one note per bar. 
So one, two, three, four, dong, 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 dong. Yeah, and really try to get the sounds to uh, feel different. Um, to be completely honest, I don't know if you would actually hear any kind of like audible difference, but I'll play them right now, and hopefully you can uh, just the visual image uh, conveys a lot of information as to how I'm hearing each sound. One, two, three. Uh, if you've made it this far into this video, uh, you're most likely a Taiko nerd, <laughs> uh, like me. <laughs> um, if you'd like to talk more about Taiko nerd stuff, uh, my email address is isaku at taiko.la. Uh, I'm always hanging out at the Los Angeles Taiko Institute, so if you're ever in town, uh, please hit me up. Um, thanks for watching, and see you soon.